always say that. And I'm always right too, but you need to understand. But you forget about it in a day or two. So you want to rob banks? I'm not saying I want to rob banks. I'm saying that if we did, it'd be easier than what we've been doing. So you don't want to rob banks? Nah, all those guys are going down the same road. Either dead or serving 20. And no more liquor stores? What have we been talking about? Yeah, no more liquor stores. Besides, it ain't the giggle it used to be. Too many foreigners own liquor stores. Vietnamese, Korean, they can't fucking speak English. You tell them, empty out the register, and they don't know what it fucking means. They take it too personal. We keep on going, and one of those gook motherfuckers are going to make us kill them. I am not going to kill anyone. I don't want to kill anybody either. I'm just saying they're probably going to put us in a situation where it's either us or them. And if it ain't one of the gooks, it's going to be one of the old Jews who have owned the store for 15 fucking generations. You got Grandpa Irvin sitting by the counter with a fucking magnum. Try walking into one of those stores with nothing but a telephone. See how far it gets you. Forget it. Fuck it. We're out of it. Well, what then? Day jobs? Not in this lifetime. Well, what then? This place. Here? This is a bar. What's wrong with that? People never rob bars. Why not? Restaurants, banks. You get your head blown off sticking up one of those. But bars? You catch them with their pants down. They're not expecting to get robbed or not as expecting. I bet you could really cut down on the hero factor in a place like this. Correct. Just like banks, these places are insured. Managers are just trying to get you out the door before you start plugging hostesses. Waitresses, they're not going to take a bullet for the register. Bus boys, some wet back getting paid a dollar fifty, really gonna give a fuck you smell from the owner? Customers are sitting there with drinks in their hand. One minute they're having a rum and coke, the next you're sticking a gun in their face. I got the idea last liquor store we stuck up. Remember how customers kept walking in? Yeah. And you got the idea to take their wallets? Mm-hmm. That was a good idea. Thank you. We made more from the wallets than we did from the register. Yes, we did. A lot of people go into bars. A lot of wallets. Pretty smart, huh? Pretty smart. That girl is a monster. I'm, I love her and I'm a good Christian woman, but Jesus H. Christ, if it only invented some of those tests a few years earlier. How did you get into my house? Oh, you left the back door open. Though I have to warn you, Addie always tries to find a way back in. <laughs> She's got a bug up her ass about this place. Always has. You have a dog. Yes? Is that a problem? Oh no, well, better for me. I run a little kennel outside of my house. A doggy daycare sort of thing. But don't bother trying to call the cops on me. I'm in with one of the city managers and he always tends to look the other way. <laughs> look, it was really nice to meet you. It's just I wasn't really expecting company and oh, I- Oh, no. No, no need to say any more. I'm gone. I just wanted to give this to you. Little housewarming present. Addie wanted to cook you a pie, but she tends to spit in the cooking, so I thought this would help. Help you get rid of some of that bad juju. You know, those homosexual boys were nice enough. And I say live and let live, but... I can't imagine what their lifestyle drove them to do what they did. I forgot your name, though. I didn't tell you. I'm Vivian Harmon. Well, anyways, enjoy, relax. Let me know if you need any help with your pup. Glad you're getting rid of that wallpaper, though.